Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics, guys. I know you thought we saw the Fiesta ST, but we have not yet. And we are going to keep that thing. Finally started working on it again. We need to finish the rear bumper, our custom bumper that we built. And today, guys, we will be changing the oil. We got some good oil, Mobile One filter, so let's go ahead and do an oil change quick before we start messing with it. Now we guys, so we got a 13 millimeter wrench ready, okay. Uh, it's time for an oil change. We're going to get the oil plug loose. Okay, remove it, collect the oil, recycle it guys. Think about the planet. Okay, oil, oil does look pretty dirty. Okay, so we're going to let it drain, okay, all the way, and we'll remove the old filter as well, it's, uh, okay, right there. You can see. Okay, started leaking, that's the old cooler there. So always gotta make sure guys that you don't do that when the engine is too too hot because you can seriously burn yourself but it's better if you do it with warm oil just always wear gloves and still don't run it for too too long because you can you can hurt yourself if you don't feel confident enough just do it with cold oil better than risking to hurt yourself okay oil filter is almost out now a little bit of a tight fit there. Okay, needs to get around the hoses there so we can pull it out. Okay, right there. Motorcraft filter. Okay guys, so that's the filter. You always gotta make sure that the seal is there because sometimes it will be stuck on the oil filter housing and you don't wanna install another filter over the seal. Okay, this is the uh, new one. We're going with Mobile One Annual Protection Extended Performance. It's a little bit expensive, but we like using that. Uh, it's definitely worth the investment. Never try to save money on oil or you might regret it in the in the future okay and we're going to apply oil on the seal now that way it will not get stuck when we are ready to remove it again we're using castro edge 5w20 some people use mobile one some people use other oils it's it's a matter of preference Mo most of them are pretty good for synthetics nowadays if you, if you have any suggestions, please do let us know. You can actually add a little bit of oil if you want in the middle, but we're not going to because we're going to make too much of a mess to avoid a dry start. So we're ready to install the oil plug. Okay, get it tight, guys. Uh, there are three things that you should never forget when you're doing an oil change. One is to get the plug tight, get the oil filter tight, install the the oil filter cap and don't forget to add oil of course because it does happen sometimes in the shops we've heard all kind of stories from buddies okay this is good okay just getting the filter now tight uh, just get it tight by hand guys don't use any any tools because you will get it too too tight and you might even damage something so just grab it with your hand firmly or two hands and get it tight Alright okay, guys, next we need to put the car down because it always needs to be leveled so we can read the oil quantity right. Okay. Yeah, our jack definitely needs some work. Or maybe even get a new one. We are fixing to be moving soon guys to a really cool place. So, yeah, that's why we don't have all the tools right now. But, you see where we'll be going. Okay, so... According to the manual for our model, it requires 4.1 liters or 4.3 quarts. So we'll remove the cap, okay, and add 4.1 liters. And then we'll check the level. 
we'll start the car, stay with us, see what else. Check again after that because uh, the old filter will take some oil. This is a five core jack. Okay, you can see. So we just need to make sure that we add enough and you don't overfill it. If you overfill it, it could be seriously damaging your engine catalytic converters because the oil will try to burn and clog up the cats. Okay, so we have about 0.9 left there, so that that should be good. Okay, and it might need a little bit more, so we'll see guys. Uh, sometimes the manual when they say it needs a certain amount of oil, it's actually to be in the middle between full and empty. We like to be probably two thirds to almost full, but never exceed the full mark. So we wipe the dipstick, we're going to put it in, pull it out, see how much we have. We'll have too much probably because the oil filter is empty now. Okay, you can see just a little bit over the full mark. So we're going to put the dipstick in and we will uh, start the car for a second. How are you guys? So now we're going to go ahead Start the car, let it run for a little bit, that way you want to make sure you have enough oil in the filter, everywhere else in the engine. And we are going to actually go ahead, okay, turn it off, and we will let it sit for about five minutes, so the oil can go back to the oil pan, and we'll put the dipstick and see if we need to add more. Okay, we'll put the dipstick, it's been about five minutes, wipe it now, okay, push, put it in again and see if we're going to need more if uh, for 4.1 liters will be enough or we will need to be adding a little bit more okay so yep right there you can see it's right on the full mark so that's great 4.1 for us it did it excellent so we want to add more try to not overfill it guys again if you overfill it you need to you will need to okay pull it out okay you can see almost about two-thirds full so thank you guys for watching, see you guys next time.